Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from uh, Ami Patel, whose work appears in They Rise Like a Wave, an anthology of Asian American women poets, uh, published by Blue Oak Press in 2022, edited by Christine Catano and Alicia for Mohammed. The uh, poem I'm going to read is entitled Faltering and Yet. Faltering and yet, my parents call me Chakli, little bird, their firstborn flitting through the channel of my mother, emerging as shiny forehead and warring gaze. I arrive in late spring, but that first winter comes too soon, the three of us frigid and unfamiliar with Philly, far from grandparents and great-grandparents and stores full of spices with names I still only know in Gujarati. I don't speak, I shriek and spittle, I confound a sharp avian thing speaking in tongues. My father returns home later and later, his eyes closing on the couch before 9 p.m. Dinners and me sprawled on him, both bodies sinking to the tunes of tired. My mother is overwhelmed, more so than she lets on, the fridge hums incessantly, the halogen sallows our faces, the small TV stays on during feedings, nap times, diaper changes, while she cooks, grainy brown bodies shimmy across the stream. My first memories are of beehive, beehive hairdos and benevolent mustaches of the croons of Lata and Asha, who echoing through the lonely months go by, my first moves emerge thunderously with the conviction of a boxer. My father tells me decades later he was afraid to hold me. His fears fused together like hot metal and gilded them to the smallest vessel in his eye line, to me, the one bearing his name, the one still trying to crack through those same fears of body, of being, still learning how to fly, soar, and tumbled by the feet of it all. That was Ami Patel um, from They Rise Like a Wave, an anthology of Asian American women poets, uh, published by Blue Oak Press in 2022. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about Ami Patel, as well as a, uh, a link back to the publisher's site so you can purchase a copy of the, the anthology yourself. And um, more information as well about other projects and series I'm currently working on. I'm grateful for the opportunity to produce these videos and to celebrate the work of so many wonderful poets and to be able to immerse myself, to, to, to dive into these poems and hopefully give some, some measure of life to them um, so that you have an experience with them as well. Uh, without these poets and without these poems, our lives would be a lot poorer. And I'm grateful for the ways in which language, literature, art expands our understanding of the world, connects us together, and reveals that, um, that we're really not as different and as separated as we think we might be. Uh, there's so much that we can learn from each other, so many stories that we need to hear and so many opportunities for us to, to come together. So I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the power of community, the power of art, and the power of sharing what we love and what we admire with each other. So until next time, um, all the best to you and your own creative journeys. If you want to support us, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment below, or just share these videos on social media as links, and encourage other people to check out this channel. Uh, this is all really just to support other poets. Uh, my goal here is not really to draw any income from this, which I don't, um, but it is to celebrate poetry and it is to introduce uh, more people to a wider range of poets. And I hope that uh, these videos do that and uh, you can help by sharing them with others. So until next time, uh, keep on reading, keep writing, keep being engaged in the good work of poetry. And whether it's as a writer and a creator of work yourself, or it's as a consumer of poetry, or somewhere in between, in which you, you live and you move and you, you, uh, you embrace poetry and it finds its way through you into another form. So whatever it is, here's to you and here's to the rest of us creating poetry. And we'll see you all very soon in the next video. Till then, goodbye.